Have you ever wondered how much it costs to live in China? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly that. I'm going to tell you how much it costs to live, how much accommodation costs, how much food can cost, and one more thing that I'm going to save until the end of this video, right? So, if you've got any questions about China, about living in China, about what it would be like, about if you could afford it, right? If you're thinking of going to university, if you're thinking of coming here on a holiday, it's good to know how much things cost and how much money you should bring to prepare for living here. Now, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Come to this channel for information about traveling, about China, about learning Chinese. And if it's a bit noisy, that's China. So we're gonna get into this. Uh, so how much does it cost? Now, I've just been to Hong Kong and compared to Hong Kong, China or the places that I've been to, so Guangzhou, Nanjing and Shanghai are way cheaper for the basics. I'm sure you can spend whatever you want if you go to the top class of anything. And, but I'm talking here about the basic traveling necessities. How much to stay at you know, a little hotel like this? How much per night? So I'll just give you a quick tour. So you got the bed. You got a kitchen area, you got a fridge, TV, all that fantastic stuff, right? So ask yourself, how much do you think this would cost? Now, per night, this is actually one of the more expensive places that I've stayed in China. Uh, this one is, wait for it, about 20 pounds a night. So about 200 RMB per night. And like I say, it's got a balcony, it's beautiful. So, you know, you could definitely get cheaper. Now, compare that to Shanghai. Now, in Shanghai, I was staying in a hostel. So not a hotel like this, in a hostel. And in the hostel, I was sharing with six people in one room, very beautiful facility. So if you wanna know the uh, details of that accommodation, just let me know. But that was about, about 16 pound a night. So you can pretty much stay anywhere for over 10 pound a night. Now. Yes, it is possible to stay in places in China, mainland China, for cheaper than that. However, there's something that you really need to know about before you book the cheapest places, especially for those people looking to travel around. Now, the first thing is, you'll probably be using some of the Chinese apps. I'm using like Chunar, and that's in WeChat. It's like a couple, it's a mini program in WeChat. If you have any questions about that, just let me know. Um, but if you go really cheap, which is what I actually tried to do for about four different places, and I got rejected from those hostels. So this is something that you really need to know. So what you need to know is not all places can accommodate, can house, can have, can take um, Westerners or foreigners that aren't from mainland China. And the reason they know you're not from mainland China is because you don't have an ID card. Okay, great. So. You can't stay everywhere, so you need to know exactly how to find these little filter buttons on those apps. That's one thing that I think is crucial. It's really helped me book places like this, and it's helped me to not get rejected when I arrive and then realize, you know, I can't stay there. So I just check it's still recording. Still recording, fantastic, perfect. Um, so that's one thing that's super important. Now, the prices of here compared to Hong Kong blew my mind. It really did shock me, actually. And and that's because I was comparing apples to apples. You know, you can get a lovely place like this for 20 pounds. In Hong Kong, I was paying the same amount, about 20 pounds, and I was staying in literally the roughest place in Hong Kong. So if you're from there, you know about Hong Kong, uh, have a guess about where you think that, uh, that place is in the comment section below, because you'll probably get it right, because everyone that I told this is where I'm staying, they said, that's the roughest place in uh, in Hong Kong. And they were right. But the price was very similar to this beautiful place that I'm staying in now with a balcony overlooking, you know, a little, little street, nice busy street. Um, so yeah, so that's one thing that's really important to know. Okay guys, and then in addition to that, you also need to know how much the food costs. Now, I'm going to do a separate video about this food situation because it's really um, interesting. In Hong Kong, <laughs> I 
I mean, you should probably go there just to realize how cheap it is in China. Hong Kong, everything's at least three times the price for the basics. This is what I'm talking about, basics. In China, I just had a meal then. Rice, beef, vegetables, it cost me two pounds. I had a meal yesterday, one pound seventy. Honestly, it's beautiful, delightful, and really nice. One thing that you might struggle with though, which I really struggle with because I'm going to the gym at the moment, is getting enough healthy protein. So, if you want to get enough healthy protein, one way you can do it is to drink milk. Drink plenty of milk. That's quite funny because lots of uh, little kids watching me in the window. So you can drink plenty of milk and that's good for you. Um, you can have protein shakes, which is quite hard to find. So I've managed to find some in Hong Kong and I've brought it here because it's tasty and it means that if you're going to the gym, you can get enough of that protein. So that's really important. And so I suppose if you think about it like that, you know, for about 20 pound a night, stay in a beautiful place like this for maybe 10, 15 pound a day, you can have enough food for you to eat and you'll be absolutely over the moon with that. So maybe 35 pound a day, uh, but you can do it a lot cheaper if you want. You can just go to the supermarket, get some eggs, you know, find a microwave and bingo bango, you've got it. So if you've got any more questions about uh, living in China, about how much it costs, about, you know, specific foods that you can buy, then do let me know. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And this has been exactly how much things cost in China. So. I'm going to uh, I'm going to get going to the gym and uh, get some of that delicious food. Thanks guys. Bye bye.